What's going to happen this weekend? It's the ALDC Showcase. Thank you, yes. The annual Abby Lee Dance Company Showcase is an event that we do to showcase all of our competition numbers. This is when their families, their friends, all of the people that uh, really don't understand what they do get to come and see the end result. And at the showcase, I watch every solo and every group number. Then I make a decision on what's going to go to the next regionals and on to nationals. We're doing the new number, Sugar Daddies, at the showcase. Maddie, you won the overall high score at the competition. Boom. Nia, forgot the solo, kept dancing, made it up, went on, finished with the music. Nia was assigned a little bit higher in the pyramid. I think Nia was very excited about that. Chloe, did a great job. There were some other situations. You're here. I want to see that attitude improve on stage. Yes? You never know who's watching you. I honestly wasn't surprised by the pyramid this week. I knew Abby was going to punish Chloe because of my behavior. All right, I have a few surprises during the showcase. I don't want to pressure you, but in the audience at the showcase is going to be an agent coming to seek new talent and looking for new clients to sign. Yes? When Abby said that there was a Broadway talent agent coming to the showcase, my heart just stopped. I mean, this is huge. Supporting foot turned out. Supporting foot turned out. Back leg is not high enough. Ten times. Ten times, I've told her. There's lots of things that can go wrong with the number when you use props. These sugar daddy lollipops can break. You can injure yourself with them. You can injure somebody else next to you with them. Too far stage right. No one's going to see you. They're really heavy? Yeah, it hurts their wrist. If any of you ever work professionally, a comment like that is going to get you fired. Deal with it. Let's go from the top. The sugar daddy props were bigger than I was, so they're really hard to dance with. Left leg high on the straddle. One, up, two, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All by itself. She was right behind me. And Your back hit her stick. Yeah, and then it hit her in the mouth. Let me see. Is it bleeding? Are you all right? It just feels weird, huh? Because it's swollen. Oh, it burns. It hurts. Okay, well, stop crying and run your dance. Okay? The show must go on. Come on, remember, you're the role model here. When we're dancing, you get hurt all the time, but you just have to keep dancing. Make sure you don't scoop that foot. If I were a cheerleader, I would never get hit in the face with a pom-pom. Change. It's our annual dance company showcase. And it's every mother's nightmare. Hold on. This dress rehearsal and, and the showcase, it, it's insane. I mean, we're running down the hallway, bobby pins are flying, kids are out of breath, people are frustrated and upset. It's madness. Thanks. Losing it. Okay, oh. places, girls. I'm really freaked out about these because they're. Oh my God, they're a mess. Abby told us that the girls in the Sugar Daddy's dance needed to have a lollipop as a prop. And it was an issue from the get go. She gave us something that was awful to work with. They kept breaking. The penny to that What? Oh, I can't remember. Hey. See, can you hold that right there had, for a second? If we had straight Les. pins, we could pin that in. As far as being the studio owner of Candy Apples Dance Center, we would never, ever go to dress rehearsal, let alone the performance, and our props would not be done. They are done weeks beforehand. But I am sick and tired of policing them about every little thing. Can't their mothers do anything right? Where, where is the adult in the situation? You know, guys, everybody thinks I'm the one at the last minute. These have been done. 
I told your children to take them on Friday night and pitch in and get them done. All I need these mothers to do is make sure their daughters are on stage with props. Easy, right? No, not with these mothers. It's always something. Today is it. Everybody's worked really hard. This is the showcase. You know what? I, I need you to rotate to give me this shiny side out. The good news is Caesar is here to see the performance. So he is going to get to see them on stage. Doing the annual showcase is stressful enough, but then having a Broadway agent in the audience, it's like my head's going to explode. I just want my kids to make an impression. And now, the Avi Lee Dance Company proudly presents We Love to Dance. Kids, what are we doing? No, Maddie, because she's right in the middle. Are they backstage? Yes, they're backstage. Uh, Rom, gonna... I really don't think that anybody's going to have an issue with Maddie not having a lollipop because it looks like she's not supposed to because there's two girls on each side and then Maddie's in the middle. Listen, Maddie does not have a pop. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's only four, so go. She's coming. Oh. one of the sugar daddy lollipops broke or something. So, of course, the special one in the dance who doesn't have to dance with the giant stick is Maddie because she's the center and she's the special one with no props. So naturally, your eyes go to her. That's the way things go. Obviously, Maddie stood out because she didn't have a lollipop, but I think she really made the dance because she really used her facial expressions, and I think she was just adorable in the dance. I was a little nervous to perform in front of Caesar. I just wanted to make sure that I knew my dance and I remembered my dance. I honestly don't remember how well I did because I was so nervous. Miss Abby says that the New York agent is looking for girls to put on Broadway. I think it's a big deal because I would really like to be on a Broadway show. Cesar Roca, an agent from Telsey and Company Casting, was in the house tonight. <laughs> Having Cesar come here was a great honor. It was fun. It was exciting. I was thrilled to have him here. Hi. Hey, girls. Good job. Hi. You guys are so good. Congratulations. You were so good. Thank you. Hi. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. You guys are so good. Come with me, Maddie. I'm just going to chat with Maddie over here for a second. Yeah, of course. You want to come? Let's go here. Coming from New York, Maddie's a star. <laughs> Maddie is its unreal how good she is. And the face on stage, all the girls are very good, but Maddie just stood out for me. She has that glimmer, that sparkle. I would love, like, if you're ever in New York, just come in and, like, let me know you guys are there. 
and I would love to like just chat so the office can get to meet you. And like I said, we're doing a bunch of stuff with kids now, so it'd be great. And just like, keep in touch. I can see her on stage, I can see her on television, I can see her as one of the kid actors that we see in New York all the time. Her picture yesterday was great, so that's good. And it's yeah. old, but Abby wanted that one. As soon as we found out there was a talent agent from Telsey and Company coming, we knew that the focus was going to be on Maddie. And I know that Abby probably promoted her before anybody else. She's so good. She's so good. She's just she's smart. unreal. She's smart. smart. Yeah, and so take a, a strong dancer amongst the other girls. And naturally, when he came out and he wanted to talk to somebody, the child he pulls aside is Maddie. And I don't know, what did you say? You said you're not upset, but it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Great. You. you look beautiful on stage. Thank you. Thanks. I knew Caesar would love her. It's kind of a given. And she has a cute little personality. She's not a brat. Christy is jealous of my eight-year-old daughter, and I think it's totally ridiculous. It's because my kid is the star. She is the most talented girl there, and Abby knows that she has a future. I don't know how much longer I can put up with Abby. The whole Broadway casting agent thing was total bull We all know why this guy came in, and it was for her precious little Maddie, no one else. I might have agreed to play by Abby's dumb little rules, but no more. I'm not keeping my mouth shut, and it's on. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. It was nice to meet nice you. To meet you too. Nice to meet you, Maddie.